Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bow Bow Show, baby, with a whole bunch of rumors from King Mo, who is right about nearly everything last year in terms of 2K20 so far. So let's get straight into the video by saying thank you for 15,000 subscribers and Fringe Globe 40 asked King Mo. This question may or may not have been asked before, but are there any new reversal animations in 2K20? King Mo responded by saying yes. More contextually appropriate reversal animations to improve match flow have been mocap, i.e. front, back, corner reversals resulting into seated corner positions or a strong grapple diverting into a carry position. There's also new animations exclusive to weight classes. So a whole lot of great information. Um, so happy to see better flow of reversals and the fact that they're going to be going to the right places after you do a reversal and you're not going to end up on the ropes um, and a whole new kind of weight class system not whole new but just improved weight class system um, I think that's great especially for like a super heavyweight versus a cruiserweight I love that kind of dynamic in matches it's kind of like a different kind of like I like to see more strategy I like to see more kind of animations to do with that Especially like I hated it when they had uh, Rey Mysterio being able to lift the big show in past games But yeah, I'm glad they've sorted it out and I, I can't wait to see what kind of new animations that are exclusive to the weight class system this year Nick asked King Mo, how good is the Fiend's entrance this year for 2k20? It's being developed right now King Mo says considering the amount of hours they're currently putting into the original content it should come out very, very well. So the fact that right now they're putting in that SummerSlam entrance because that's the only entrance we've had of The Fiend um, is insane. And hopefully they could add stuff like Firefly Funhouse to the universe mode out of nowhere. Or maybe whilst you're playing the game on the menu screen, just like a Firefly Funhouse little box comes up and it's like an exclusive Bray Wyatt kind of thing. I don't know, it's just like so many cool stuff could happen then. But I don't, I'm not really th sure if they would do that, but... Um, the fact that they're putting loads of hours into original content, like I said in my last video, originals is kind of like visual concepts baby. It's kind of like um, their own kind of twist on things. It's their thing that they're working on by themselves without ukes. It's kind of the thing that they want to really put over to fans and hope that they love it. <laughs> and I'm so happy that they're doing this because last year they only added like something like a big head mode and I hated that so much. Like that's what you kind of... That was a factor that you sold the game on when it should have just been like a special thing that when you played the game you're like, huh? Big head mode, what's this? And then you clicked it and it's like, oh my god, big head mode. It should have just been like a little inclusion. They sh I, I don't know why they kind of marked... It felt like to me like they marked it that as a point why you should have paid 50 or $60 to buy 2K19. But this year, originals, yes, I know it's like you have to pay separate for it if you don't buy the deluxe edition, but I would recommend, well... I can't really recommend it now because it hasn't come out and by the time it happens will deluxe edition be sold out but I guess you can actually buy it um, on the store if it's sold out in your local stores anyway you can buy it on the PS store the Xbox store I mean um, so yeah if you if you're still like kind of doubting whether you which edition you should buy maybe wait for the game to come out wait for the reviews of 2k originals we're gonna be doing live streams of that on the channel anyway as well and then you can see for yourself whether what kind of edition you want and then you can buy it from the store if you wanted to or you can just buy it separate if you wanted to as well so these kind of originals are going to come out um i think seasonally like every month or and a half or two months you'll have the next originals to come out with a whole bunch of new content and superstars and the fact that they're doing bray white's entrance right now and really that's insane like it's it's kind of going to be very updated in that regard and we also gain Io Shirai's new theme has been requested so hopefully that's in the game so it seems visual content is really stressing on getting this game very updated and even if it's not as updated when the game is launched because by October a lot of things will change in, in terms of entrances and animations hopefully they can do post launch content that is free for everybody like they did the Roderick Strong and the Undisputed Era entrance last year and the, I think they've done a, a brand new Kane and Undertaker entrance as well post launch and hopefully they can add a lot of that kind of stuff and use locker codes to um, give us new animations and stuff as well it's just a great way to use that and it could be like 
updated downloads for locker codes and it's just a great way to use locker codes as well so yeah guys thank you for watching this video i'm so excited i cannot wait to use the fiend in wwe 2k20 guys 15,000 subscribers holy moly guys god bless every single one of you and thank you for staying here at the Barbo Show, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting in the comments. I'm going to read every single one of your comments. So, guys, God bless every single one of you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.